we're uh, going to attempt to go to the shops today. Jeanette is going to go in the car, stay in the car, and if there's a big queue at the supermarket, uh, I'm going to queue up. Jeanette's going to come back home, and I'll give her a ring when I'm ready, and she can drive out and uh, pick us up. Um, I don't want her to be stood in queues and going outside and mixing with people. She's not really allowed to be uh, going uh, face to face. So we'll uh, see where we go from there. <sighs> and this is day 12, I believe, but uh, I could be wrong. Well, you're down there. <laughs> Are you alright? I'm already praying. So said 500 today. Oh, yeah. I could do it. I've done without Felix being like that, but then the day is sorted. I don't know who's been fighting with or. I think he's been fighting with another cat. You, you, you say it's a dog, but it doesn't look like a dog to me, doesn't that? Dogs don't do that. He's had his, whoever it was, whatever it was, he's had his head in its mouth. In his, his head in its mouth. She told me so, did it vet? Alright. She said, whatever it was. Well, you're not in queue, are you? I, I'll, I'll queue up, right? Mm -hmm. I don't mind queuing up. If, if there's a queue, I don't mind. Like I say, if it's raining, I'll have to stand in the rain a little bit. I don't know, I don't know, I just don't know what the situation will be when we get there. Last week it weren't too bad, but it, it, it's this week, isn't it? Uh, seven days has changed the damn world, hasn't it? I mean, what do you reckon? They say a quarter of the world is on lockdown. That's a lot. The world's a big place. A quarter of the world, I mean, it's... There's millions of people on lockdown. At least it's raining, not snow. It's a bit of snow. But it'll snow on the hills, apparently. Up there somewhere, it'll snow up there. Big Chris. Uh, I'm going to give Chris a ring and all at some point. You can see from here, they queue in, they queue in yeah? Right, so... So if you just drop me off... I'll drop you off. I'll get a token and get the bags. Yeah. And we'll do it that way around. I'll drive you right around to the front. Yeah, okay. Drop you off here. Probably nothing in any way to queue for, but uh, yeah, I, I, well, there you go. Yeah, well, I need to, you kind of, yeah, I need to get a bag. I can pull over here. <laughs> All right.
going to do some more painting then. Okay, thank you. Cheers out. Alright mate, you're going to be under my feet while I put this stuff away, yeah, I thought you might be, careful of your nose, oh you got enough, alright, got some, you found something to eat, okay, I'll leave you to it. I think we've got most, most of the stuff that we need, uh, we, we, can, we can last, we don't have to go out the shops. Or anything anyway at least. Yeah. <sighs> didn't get any more nuts. I'm sorry? I didn't get any more peanuts. You didn't? No. You got a bag here and that's it, sorry. Are you able to make them last a week? I do. I'll do go and get some peanuts. Just after. Is what? I said I need to get past now to get out stuff. Yeah, okay. You're allowed. I don't know where you are. Oh, please. Thank you. The Appreciation Universal. From young and old, from those isolating indoors to those on their doorsteps. Thank you. And for those returning from shifts on the front line, it meant so much. hundreds of people who will be coming back from retirement. They've made a call to arms for those who've left the professions to come back and help. We also expect there to be volunteers for the St John's Ambulance Brigade and also military medics, a number of those too. Again, all ready for the potential wave of cases which we anticipate may start to come in here during the middle to the end of next week. Angus, thank you very much for that update there from the uh, XL in London. And as you can see, our political correspondent Jonathan Blake joins us. Um, as Angus was saying, there, there are still pretty major questions that remain unanswered. What can we expect if <laughs> you've got your crystal ball uh, from uh, today's daily press uh, meeting? Well, we've been told very little as the days have gone on about what the government is going to announce at these news conferences. And we'll have to wait and see, I'm afraid, to hear what Alk Sharma, the business secretary, who will be leading today's briefing, has to say. I think the fact that he is there suggests there will be some more measures targeted at businesses uh, and towards the economic uh, strategy in terms of the government's response to coronavirus, but I'm sure there will be questions as well about the capacity within the NHS to deal with this crisis. As we